Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on thermal stresses in the composite bars. Let us read the question one time. A bar of brass 25 mm diameter is enclosed in a steel tube 50 mm external diameter and 25 mm internal diameter. Brass is enclosed by the steel tube. The bar and tube are initially 1 meter long and rigidly fastened together at both ends. Here we have to find the stresses in both of the materials when the temperature rises from 15 degrees Celsius to 95 degrees Celsius. If the composite bar is then subjected to an axial tensile load of 50 kN, find the resulting stresses and the increase in length from the initial stage. The Young's modulus for steel and brass are given. The coefficients for the linear thermal expansion for steel and brass are given. First, let us make a given data. Length of the bar is given as 1 meter. We can convert that into millimeter. The external diameter for steel is 50 mm. The internal diameter is 25 mm. The diameter of brass is 25 mm. The Young's modulus are given in giga Newton per meter square. We can convert them into kilo Newton per millimeter square. The values of alpha for steel and brass are given. You can see that the alpha value for brass is higher than the alpha value for steel. Temperature rises from 15 degree to 95 degree. We can find delta T 95 minus 15. We will get 80 degree. The load P is given as 50 kN. First, let us find the area of brass and steel using these formulas. After calculation, we are getting the areas. We know that the temperature is increased. If the bar is restrained, there will be no expansion. If the bar is not restrained and free to move, brass will expand more than steel because the alpha value for brass is higher than that of steel. The expansion in steel is alpha S L delta T and in brass is alpha B L delta T. We know that in reality the brass and steel take a intermediate position. For brass to take this intermediate position it has to compress by delta L B. So in brass there will be compressive stress. For steel to take this intermediate position it has to expand by delta L S. So in steel there will be tensile stress. Now let us make an expression alpha B L delta T is equal to alpha S L delta T plus delta L S plus delta L B. Let us take alpha S L delta T on the other side. So it will come as negative. L and delta T are common. We can take them outside. We know the formula for change in length P L upon A E. P upon A is the stress sigma. So for P upon A we can apply sigma. Using this formula we can rewrite both of these terms like this. We know that sigma is equal to P upon A. So P is equal to sigma into A. The value of load P will be same in both of the materials. So we can write sigma B into AB is equal to sigma S into AS. From here we can get sigma B which is equal to sigma S AS upon AB. 
we have already calculated a b and a s using them we can get sigma b is equal to 3 sigma s for sigma b we can apply 3 sigma s we can take outside sigma s and l both are common then we can eliminate l now let us apply the values of e s e b delta t alpha b and alpha s after the calculation we are getting sigma s we can convert sigma s either in newton per mm square or mega newton per meter square we know that this is tensile sigma b is equal to 3 sigma s we can multiply sigma s with a 3 so that we will get sigma b which is compressive we have finished the first part of the question now let us see the second part the composite bar is then subjected to an axial tensile load of 50 kN now we have to find the resulting stresses and the increase in length due to the tensile load the bar will expand further by delta L P the expansion will be same in both steel and brass we know the formula for the change in length sigma L upon E we know that the expansion is same in both of the materials so the expansion in steel is equal to the expansion in brass here we can apply the values of Young's modulus finally we are making this relation the total load 50 should be equal to the summation of load in steel and load in brass for the load we can apply the relation sigma into a for sigma sp we can apply these then let us apply the values of areas finally we are getting sigma bp since it is a tensile load the stress will be tensile we know that sigma sp is equal to 2 sigma pb using that concept we will find sigma sp which is tensile now let us find the resultant stresses first let us find it in steel previously due to the temperature change we have got this stress which is tensile this is also tensile so we have to add both of them after adding we are getting this previously for brass we have got compressive stress so we have to subtract this tensile stress finally we are getting this which is compressive now we are going to find the final change in length previously it was our change in length but now it is our change in length to find this change in length we have to add this this and this let us add these three of them for these two we have already made these expressions inside the formulas let us apply the values after applying we are getting the increase in length alternatively using the formulas we can solve this problem first using this formula let us find sigma s then using this formula we can find sigma b then using these formulas we can find sigma bp and sigma sp then we can calculate the resultant stresses now we are going to find the final change in length the final change in length is equal to initial change in length plus delta lp for the initial change in length we can use this formula using that formula we will get 1.009 for delta lps we can apply this we have all of the values after calculation we will get this when we add these two we will get final change in length 
now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video